And when the drivers, you know, just uh, wander in the morning, everything can all be nicely set up and look like it didn't take any work at all. Exactly. <laughs> it is amazing, the logistics. I know. Uh-oh, caution. Another caution. All right, this uh, calm first practice for the NASCAR Xfinity Series at Bristol has changed colors just a little bit. That's Brandon Brown. What's going to be what's going to be discussed? Something tells me we're going to have a conversation about Matt DiBenedetto and his situation. Something tells me that's going to happen. Probably, probably, we'll probably have a special guest or two. Yep. Hopefully, I know we have one. I know we have one special guest coming to visit. We'll get to talk to Kristen and AJ and Nate Ryan. That's always special. That's always special. Mm -hmm. I hope Nate uses words I can understand. <laughs> Oh, you mean the nickel words, not the 25 cent yes, words? Yes, for sure. Yep. Remember the show we did where it was, uh, it was, it was, uh, we did practice with Nate and we, we, we dubbed it big words with Nate? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was great. We oh, should, we should do more of those. By the way, this is hashtag NASCAR fan practice. So fans have been tweeting us their questions and we've been attempting to answer them. Jake wants to know, KP and Jeff, how frustrating is lap traffic at Bristol? And if you're a slower car, mm. how tough is it to stay out of the way? Uh, okay, we were just watching Jeff run. Uh, he fell into a really good rhythm of running, you know, 1580. Cole, fresh out of the cup car for his first time in a cup car. Um, what was that like making the transition, and how did it maybe help you a bit here in Quali? Yeah, you know, the, the cars drive is kind of similar, but at the same time a little bit different. But the biggest thing was just knowing how much the track changed. I felt like last night they reapplied the PJ1. I felt like it was going to have a lot more than, than what it had. Uh, getting that cup car kind of let me see what the track was doing. It definitely helped a little bit. So I don't know. I feel like we have a really good four performance Mustang, obviously, so far. So we'll see what we have for tonight. All right, and Dave, I got to tell you this. He just stepped in a little bit of gum down here at the track, and he told me the last time he did that was Iowa, uh, uh, uh. and that worked out just fine. <laughs> if I was his PR person, I'd be tossing gum out in front of him everywhere he wants. How about that? Yes, he won at Iowa. Had a little bit of a tire advantage, but nonetheless tracked down a very fast Christopher Bell and went to victory lane for the second time in his career. Ryan Sieg trying to get there in the 39. That's a good lap. Puts him fourth. Yeah, really good. Really good short track racer, as most of these guys are. I mean, that's right here. Goes up the racetrack sideways, out of control, the 39. Nice job not spinning the 23 out. Tyler Reddick gets by. And at this point, the 23 is just looking for a chance to get to the bottom. He finally gets that about a lap later. Couldn't get to pit road. Almost spins it out. Will help him. How about the 39 of Ryan Sieg up here in the top four? Oh, Reddick got a huge launch off the exit of turn four. I can promise you he's not scared to run up top. Welcome back to Bristol Xfinity Series race. You saw Brandon Jones, our leader there, just pitted. Took four tires and Sunoco fuel, Dave. And a behind him. Yeah, with Justin Allgaier, Ryan C, Greg Gollin, John Hunter Nemechek, all stayed on the racetrack. That's your top four. Reddick and Brandon Jones, the first two cars. Jones, the top five. How about C? How about this team? They, they've really run well. Smaller team, a little less funding than some others. Shane Wilson came over to do the crew chiefing job. They carpool from Charlotte all the way to Atlanta, just outside of Atlanta, to work on that car. Four-hour drive. There we go. Saying there were 61 laps to go. I really think he just said it. Oh, about 50 times tonight. Lap traffic. You know, lap traffic yellows, of course. But Justin Agro, as you look ahead. He's built a nice lead, a little over one and a quarter seconds. That's going to be hard to run down, evened up. Redick, he needs C to put up a fight, right? Zeke's running very well, but if he can just hold Redick off. Burdett, he's cheering on the 39 right now. Yeah. Don't let him back. Race him. So what we saw earlier, Tyler Redick push a little hard, spin the car out. Here you are with 58 laps to go. He's thinking about that. He knows he needs to get by the 39, but he's playing that balance, right? How hard can he push? How do you make this fast? That's the hard part, right? I mean, you're going to see what you're eventually going to see Tyler Reddick do is run out of patience a little bit, and he's going to try to slide him. If he can ever get enough momentum, he's going to drive underneath him on corner entry and just try to slide up in front of him. But Zeke doing a really good job. I feel like we're watching the countdown clock, and that's my 
advantage of. He's taking his time as far as Tyler Reddick working to get by him. Now he gets a little bit of a run here. Look to the inside that tucks back up behind him. Watch how fast. See how much faster he is in the middle of the corner? I like that he can turn a lane lower. If he can ever turn the lane and just stay at his bumper, oh, he's going to go to the bottom, give it a try. I don't think that's going to work. I think Tyler Reddick's going to carry the speed off the top. 55 laps to go. This is the battle for second. Reddick with pressure tires in the two. Trying to get by the 39 of Ryan Sieg. Behind him, Brandon Jones has cleared Noah Gregson, so Brandon is running these two down. And this is this battle, they're two tenths of laps slower than Algar in front and Brandon Jones behind. Look at Algar, he's driven away. Oh, here it comes, right there. Is this where he's going to go to the bottom? No. Nope. Patience, patience. He's got to get a little forward momentum leaving one of the corners. If C gets a little slow, like right there, then Reddit can turn left. Pretty impressive that Ryan Seeger right now holding off the defending series champion, Tyler Reddick, but for how long? Here he comes. Reddick to the inside. Can he clear him? On corner exit, he does. So now Tyler Reddick has moved up to second. The patience paid off. Great move by Tyler Reddick. There's still 51 laps to go in the race. More than enough time to erase that two-second deficit. But you, rather than run to the bottom... For you, we're making Reese's with pieces. Sort of like a buy one, get one free inside the thing you just got. Not sorry, Reese's. Zombie Tsunami. Buckle up, sweetheart. They're coming. The Tour Championship on the horizon. Now's the time to make a move. The BMW Championship. Tomorrow, watch featured groups on PGA Tour Live. Coverage continues at 11.30 a.m. on Golf and 3 p.m. on NBC. And the next stop for the NASCAR Xfinity Series will be Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin, and Road America. That coverage next Saturday on NBCSN at 3 p.m. Eastern. Very slow on the track. Ryan Sieg in the 39 got into the wall and now has made his way to pit road. No caution has come out. Let's look and see what happened. There he is. He enters the turn one. Got really loose, then smacked the wall. Looks like it. Knocked the track bar maybe out of it, and yeah. a left for a tire. It's moving around. It hits it again there. And then it really starts to move around in smoke. And as this has happened. Yeah, all good here. He's going to have a problem. Play low to the bottom. Marty. Rick, what a shame for this race team. We showed him running second a moment ago. That was legit. It wasn't some tire strategy. They've been in the top ten for much of this race, but you saw the contact with the wall. They said they changed all four tires there. See Justin Allgaier working some traffic as well. The leader. So for Sieg, they're going to go out and see what they can get here, see if that track bar is still connected correctly, but doesn't look like it's very good right there, does it? Still smoking. Yeah, a lot of smoke. They put four fresh tires on that thing, but... Steve, what's going yeah, on with that car? Anyway. Well, the rear suspension's obviously failed. It's moving left and right. The tires are rubbing, but the race for the lead has heated up. Justin Allgaier cannot get by the four of Castle. He is completely...